Star de Bianche is a very special competition for me, uh, not because I love so much gravel section, but because I'm half Tuscanian. It will be special because uh, you hear uh, the, a lot of people screaming uh, in Italian. It's been uh, on the men's calendar for a long time and only since a few years for the women, which is really nice that we are getting to race it as well. A really special race uh, for women cycling with all the gravel sections. You know, as soon as they started to introduce gravel races in the calendar, um, I was really excited because I, um, when I'm home, I love to train on gravel roads. And I think it's a, just an epic race. There's no point where you can rest. You always have to invest a lot to be at the front and you have to concentrate really from kilometer zero till the end. Every time you go into a gravel sector, and even when you're in the gravel sector, you just tell yourself, okay, if the bike goes, like, my body goes. Go, 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 go! Three, that sector is very one. important. Yeah, you're gonna be ready, and you're gonna need some speed. It's like with the cobbles, you need speed to go over it, and you should be in control of your bike. I think a lot of adrenaline uh, will come. The, the moments before the gravel sections are really hectic, yeah. Everyone wants to be in the front. It's like, like a sprint lead out. It's like there's the finish line and everyone goes for the sprint or something. Maybe it's better when you came into the gravel sector because it's the, the first nervous moment is finished and then you have only to push. The one that I prefer is when you're in the gravel. It's in the gravel that is the most fun because it's so hard. You also need a little bit of luck eh? because a lot of uh, riders already had a flat tire. The gravel is dry this year, it's loose, so you really have to be careful also when cornering. I really didn't like the moment just before the gravel. As soon as I hit the gravel, I like it. But I also have to admit, as soon as I hit the road again, it's also a nice feeling, yeah. When I get the tarmac under my wheels again and you can like relax for a second, still there's racing going on and you have to be attentionful, but still the danger of slipping or crashing is a little bit less than. I became a professional cyclist in 2012 and from that moment I can see a really uh, improvement of women cycling. The most important thing is the visibility because it's impossible to, to be loved by people if they can see you. Women cycling got a long way already and, but they're still a long way ahead of us. It's important from us to try to um, give a good message and uh, make people understand that this sport is a good one and uh, we put a lot of passion in what we are doing. But I think on, on, on TV we could improve still a little bit and I think it's a nice combination to have the, the races with the men together like on the same day or on the same weekend because then we, we get the spectators from the, from the men because they, they go and want to see the men, but at the same time they're gonna see the woman and then maybe they get inspired and they see, oh wow, we actually do the same. The team is like really doing a massive job in social media. So I think we really like inspire a lot of people and, and we are a team with so many girls from different countries, but yet we're still a great group. And I think that 
the mixture of everything just makes it. And also, because we are so spread out, we can reach a lot of people out there and also a lot of girls who hopefully go on the bike. It's also now a great race. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the team of WNT Rota Pro Cycling. Uh, I think it, the sport is moving towards gravel. I mean, for the normal people, it's so much more safer. And I mean, it's it, for sure, it is more fun. Like because cycling is not just about the watts and the numbers and everything calculated. And you definitely can't calculate when you have gra gravel sectors because there is no science that can predict what's going to happen on those roads.